Hi, this is Angie from Angie's Southern Kitchen, and today we're going to learn how to make a pot pie crust recipe. And this is a crust I really like, and I've used it on all my pies and all my crust, and it works really well. It's enough to give you a two tops, so that you can have two casseroles with one top, or you can do a bottom and a top. And in this recipe, we have three cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of salt, and we get 13 tablespoons of really cold butter. And I cube it, and then I get my lard, and I put it in the freezer so that it stays nice and firm. And this is what makes your pie crust flaky and tender, is doing this little extra step. And then I use three tablespoons of lard. And I know people, oh, I don't want to use lard. Well, it, it really does make a difference in your pie crust. It makes it taste better, it makes it perform better, and it makes it flaky, and it just gives it a wonderful taste. And it's only three tablespoons. So you can tell the difference. This is one teaspoon of salt. We're going to put that in. And then I put my um, butter, 13 tablespoons, and three tablespoons of lard, which is really cold. And we're going to put it in the food processor. And I like to pulse it. Okay, you can see the butter in here. You don't want to chop up all of the butter. You want to maybe go a little bit more because that's what makes the flaky layers. So I'm gonna give it just a little bit more and then I'm gonna start adding my water. Today I had to add eight tablespoons, but I would start with six and see if it's where you need it. It depends on how humid it is outside where you live, how much water the flour has in it. But to me, when the dough, it, it still looks like sand, but you want it to look like that because that gives you all your flaky layers. But when it holds together like this, then that tells you that it's, it's, it's done. It's got enough water and it's been processed enough. And then at this point, I take it and I put it in two different containers and then put it in the refrigerator and let it rest. So I'm gonna divide this into two equal portions and let it put it in the refrigerator and let it rest. After you roll your pie crust out, you can put it in a round pan, a square pan, or an oblong pan, whatever uh, you're gonna bake in there, fruit or chicken, and you put it in your pan, and then you cut the excess off, and in this recipe, there's enough for a top and a bottom or two separate pies. Again, this is Angie, and you just learned how to make a chicken pot pie crust recipe.